everyone, it's me, Melissa, and I am coming to you live tonight a little bit earlier than normal for our Thursdays. Um, I had a moment, so I figured why not jump on now instead of possibly missing out completely later tonight at 8.30. I did not go to my son's football game tonight which is partly why I'm able to talk to you right now. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes and see who hops on and then I'll get to talking. Hello, hello ladies. So, oh, thank you. Thank you, Natasha. I definitely, I'm in my jammies already. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to talk to you tonight. Um, originally, I was going to discuss with going back to school. First, I thought about discussing ways to prepare for our kids to go back to school. And then I wanted to talk to you about five different top five snacks that we can pack for our kids' lunches this week. Oh. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> My dog. Anyway, I was going to talk to you about five top top five snacks to pack for your kids' school lunches. And then I got home, and I got home like an hour late, and I was exhausted. And my son looked at me and said, Mommy, are you going to please come to practice tonight? And as my eyes welled up with tears, my husband said, mm, No, let's, let's give Mom a break. Let's, let's, let's let her rest tonight. And I thought to myself, yes, that's what I'm going to talk about. That's what I need to do. Of course, I still had to do a bunch of other things. Like I have laundry going and I had to go get more formula and diapers, but I actually have probably 30 to 45 minutes to myself tonight. So that's my topic for this Thursday, self-care. Self-care is super important, moms, and especially now that the kiddos are back in school, it's, it's stressful. Routines are changing, bedtimes are changing, mornings are changing. Um, I find I need to, you know, being, as, uh, being a working mom, I was already packing, holding stuff the night before, but now I'm obviously packing Spencer stuff too, and it's like, ah, uh, I need a moment, and I can't even drink wine during the week. <laughs> I wish I could. So yeah, self-care. Self-care is important and it's it's okay. It's okay to be selfish. It's okay to need a minute. It's okay to skip football practice if that's what you need to do. It's okay to say, hey honey, watch the baby. I'm gonna take a bubble bath tonight and get a freaking bath bomb and put it in there and just take Take some time for you because you can't run on E and still be mom boss for your family. You can't do it. You just can't. You will you will be like a car and sputter out. So put a little gas in your tank and rest, relax, take a minute. Now I'm not saying that that means every Thursday skip football practice or you know, be super selfish and don't cook dinner anymore because you need to put yourself first. I'm saying when you feel like this, when you feel like you don't even recognize yourself in the mirror anymore, step back, take a breath, put some jammies on and ask for help because sometimes you need that. I'm lucky enough I can ask my husband for help. If, if you're not, maybe you're a single mom, maybe you're a single dad, ask a friend, ask a neighbor for help. Actually, my neighbor asked if we would take her son to practice tonight because she felt the same way. She has three kids that she has in high school, middle school, and second grade. And second graders in football, just like Spencer. So of course, Hey guys, can you take Preston tonight so that I can have a break? So I can focus on all the other stuff I need to be doing? Of course, of course, because at the end of the day, 
we need to help each other. You help your friends, you help your husband, you help your wife, you help your partner because you're gonna need help one day too, right? So please remember to take the time to focus on you and fill up your gas tank, recharge, reboot, and get ready so that you can be the best mom you can be, right? Because that's really what we're here for our kids, ourselves, and how are we going to actually better ourselves and be mom fit in every single way if we're not going to put forth, you know, that energy that we do have to making ourselves better and to helping us relax and, and, and reboot and recharge. So I hope that makes sense. I know I'm a little exhausted, so I probably trailed off for a minute. But I hope you have a great Thursday, and I hope back to school was great for everybody. I hope all the kids had a fantastic first day and a first week, and we will talk to you soon. Please remember to comment when and if you're like uh, watching, like, and let us know any topics that you might want to talk about or something that's on your mind or even a way that you self-care. How do you self-care? I'm going to be taking a bubble bath while my husband makes dinner. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so have a great night. I will talk to you later. And oh, check out our page because actually Natasha just went live as well talking to you about some of the things that we have going on with MomFit right now. Some of the behind the scenes things that you guys might not have been aware of and might want to be taking advantage of. So hop on there and check that video out as well. Have a great night. Bye, guys.